DIY Daddy here, Don. Uh, today we're going to be making some pickles, uh, zesty pickles from Garden Cucumbers. Um, I just made a video on making dilly beans, so if you want to watch that video first, there's a lot of canning basics that um, are in that video that will be really helpful for this one. Um, but again, you know, a lot of the things that we need are going to be the same. We're going to need you know, a canning pot, which is what I have right here on the stove. We're going to need another pot to mix the, um, the vinegar solution. We're going to need, for these, we're going to need some cucumbers. I've got uh, just some random ones from the garden. I've got some cloves of garlic. I've got a bunch of dill. I really like dill. Uh, some cayenne pepper. And pickling spice. I'm using McCormick's pickling spice. Um, you're going to need jars. You're going to need lids, rings and you know, all the, uh, the other stuff that you'll find in that first video on dilly beans. So first things first, you want to get those jars sanitized. So I've got them going in there right now. Water is at a full boil, take that off. Alright, and it's important that the jars are hot when you pack them. That kind of make sure that they're sterile and you don't poison yourself later. So boiling them for a good 10 minutes usually does the trick. Make sure they're washed well first. Now put that lid back on and make sure that pot stays boiling because it's going to need to be boiling when these are ready to go in. Alright, so what a lot of recipes ask you to do is to pack all the pickles in first, or the, the cucumbers, and then put the stuff on top. Um, in this one, I'm going to be putting the dill at the bottom, uh, because it, it tends to get in the way of making the seal with the um, lids you know, later on. So I don't see any harm in putting that at the bottom. I'm using quite a bit of dill because I like it. The recipe from most things say to put uh, one head per jar. That's quite a bit more than one head. Alright, dill. Alright, so now I'm going to pack the, steer, the, the, the pickle spears in. It helps to put the jar sideways. Number one, it's going to be wicked hot, so and you got to make sure that you have at least a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of head space. So again, you want to pack that as tight as humanly possible. All right. And so now, once it's packed as much as you can, all right. And then I'm going to take my garlic, mash it a little bit so all those juices can flow out. Put that in there. I'm going to put a teaspoon of cayenne, I'm sorry, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. One full teaspoon, that'd be hot. Alright, set that off to the side and repeat until all the jars are full. Alright, so the vinegar mix has been boiling for 15 minutes and um, we're ready to pour. Pour the vinegar in. there's only about a quarter of an inch head space at the top of the jar. So right about there is good for now. Alright, so right now it's very important that you wait. Um, you don't want to rush to put the lids on just yet because right now air is working its way out. So the liquid level is going to drop. And you want to make sure that you keep adding so that you stay at that quarter inch headspace. So the next step is we're going to take a paper towel or towel. Make sure the lids are perfectly clean. You don't want anything on there. You don't even want the uh, vinegar mix on there because it has salt in it. And once that salt dries, I mean, the heat will make it dry fast. And um, 
that'll prevent it from making a good seal. Now these, do not reuse these, all right, um, for canning. You can reuse them for like stuff you just want to keep in your fridge, but you know, once they've been used once, don't reuse them. Um, you want to soak them in hot water before you put them on to get that rubber seal nice and soft. All right, and we're going to put on the, uh, the ring, but just finger tight. You don't want it really tight because air has to be able to escape. All right, so next up is we're gonna put them into the canning pot for 15 minutes, all right? Now, <clears throat> the water has to be at a boil for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna take out a couple of jars that I have in here right now anyway. I've been using this pot all afternoon, so unfortunately, the uh, water level has dropped. Now, you need to have a good inch of water on top of that, which I don't anymore, so I'm going to start adding water to it. All right, time to wrap up these pickles. So, the jars have been in there for 15 minutes at a rolling boil. Uh, it's got to be a rolling boil, it can't be you know, just a trickle. So now we're going to take these jars out, carefully set them off to the side. So, with these pickles, um, the process is done. There is, and I can't really, so the process is done when this little button on top pops inwards. You'll hear a popping sound. It can take, you know, up to 20 minutes, 30 minutes sometimes. Um, just, they just need to cool down. Once those pop, they're done. You don't want to uh, tighten that ring on because you could move the seal off, you know, the base and compromise the, the contents. Um, <clears throat> these will last for uh, a good year to a year and a half in your pantry. Uh, I wouldn't try eating them for a good four to six weeks. You want, you know, the, the seasoning to, to work their way into the cucumber. And I do believe that's it. So, if you have any further questions, make sure you you comment, like, subscribe, make sure you share, um, and if you have any other things that you want to see, let me know. I'll do my best to, uh, to get them done. It takes me a little while sometimes because, you know, it's like a hobby thing for me, not a full-time job. Um, and next up, I'm going to be making zucchini relish, which is uh, my neighbor, the, the Carters. Uh, it's a family recipe that uh, I, I tried it this summer and it was really freaking good. Uh, and I've got tons and tons of zucchini, so make sure you check out the next episode so you can get the directions and see how to make that. So thanks for watching. See you later.